Hey, MP, you're needed in the press room. Can I get a, hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk then. Yeah, follow me. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're gonna wanna ask questions about how you played, so if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call Whoa. on John Luck. Under Shh, if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're it. feeling confident, you're gonna wanna call on Nate White, the Nate man White. fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's gonna be all over that. Also, he's gonna have a couple Shep questions to throw your way, so if you wanna get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's, so if you wanna brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. Okay. All right, um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Like, is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah, yeah. What you say in that room is gonna go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no, but no. there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside, go. We're here. <laughs> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. Just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I th you're, think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you, uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you, it's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you, I'm in there. Come on, let's go. Hey, everyone. All right, man, you up first right here. Congrats on your first NBA win, MP. Thanks, Nate. So what would you say you struggled with the most out there? I mean, after your first NBA action, is there a specific part of your game you, uh, you know you need to work on? <laughs> you know, Nate, man, you are a real ray of sunshine. You know that? <laughs> I try. So, you don't have anything to work on. Whoa, 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 I'm not gonna let you twist my words around like that. So, of course, I've got things that I need to work on. Who doesn't? You know, I just think it's funny that you lead off with such a negative question. You know, you could have asked me anything. What are you comfortable with? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, but you choose think... to start negatively? <laughs> well, I don't think that's very interesting. I bet you don't. Well, so is that a no comment? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I got you, man. I got you. Um, for me right now, the hardest part is just gelling with my teammates. My game, which I'm always confident in, um, but this is a team sport, you know, so I gotta figure out how to fit my game into what the team needs me to do. You know, obviously we got the dub tonight, so that's a huge plus, so I'm not worried about it, but you know, that's probably what needs to be worked on long term. Just gelling it all together. Okay, next question. John. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day. But I did see quite a few people in the stand supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? Community. Community is everything to me, so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side. You know, with that being said, it's only up to me to give them reason to cheer, to smile, to have something to look forward to. You know, and with the season only just starting, you know, I'm not surprised that they're not fully on board yet. Okay, but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that? Is, is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt? Uh, I mean, is it fair? I don't know. John, life ain't fair. <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm, wise words. Truly, you know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, 
I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MP. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for your time. Anytime, brother. No more questions? Cool. Yeah, take it easy.